Recently, Sky Does Minecraft, also known as Sky Does Everything, also known as Net Nobody, also known in the real world as Adam Dahlberg, came back to Twitter and began posting after a few years of being completely gone from the internet. Like, this guy was gone, gone for a bit. And he left due to some accusations from women he had been with who basically claimed he was an absolute nut job. At the time, I believe he tried to sell his YouTube channel for around a million dollars, something that as far as I'm aware never went through. Well, now Adam has also returned to YouTube, not just Twitter, but he's posting videos, and they're very cryptic. Dick. I can't tell if he's under the influence of something in these videos. I can't tell if there's some weird cringy art piece. I can't tell if it's trying to be some ARG. It's honestly hard to tell what he's going for. And he's also joined Storyfire as the COO, which is this failed social media site that me and a bunch of YouTubers signed up for a few years ago and then it just like, it just went nowhere. He's fallen down a weird rabbit hole and we're about to fall down it with him to see what's up with this guy. And I think that you guys are gonna have a fun time seeing where Scott is Minecraft is now. It's honestly kind of sad, but also kind of entertaining at the same time hello how are you i am under the water please help me so you guys know who sky does sorry, sky does everything you guys know who sky does minecraft is when i was growing up this guy was like one of the biggest youtubers in the world at one point i think he was in the top 10 he also was just one of the biggest minecraft youtubers specifically minecraft was this thing i mean look at how popular this stuff was 89 million views 20 million views 13 million views no, I did a video about Sky's team called Team Crafted back in the day, which was like one of the first YouTuber groups. It was a Minecraft group. It had people like Beijing Canadian in it, Deadlocks, um, Gizzy Gaza, something like that was his name. He was in that. Um, and it's a really interesting video, if I do say so myself. Um, but it mostly focuses on Team Crafted and everything up until a few years ago. A few years ago, um, Sky does Minecraft was accused by his ex-wife and I think another ex-girlfriend or something of some crazy stuff. Jay Aubrey did a video all about it. If you guys want to go watch that, it's probably a pretty decent video. Um, I haven't seen it in a bit, but from what I remember, pretty responsible reporting. I like Jay Aubrey, okay? I think Jay Aubrey does a good job. Well, this video comes out. Um, this wasn't the thing that like tanked his career. This is kind of after the fact, but this sort of um, showcased everything that happened and Sky leaves for a bit. But recently, Scud as Minecraft has been back on the internet. His Twitter is net nobody. He's been back tweeting. Where he says, remember, if you don't like me, make sure you're coming back every day. Proud to fu We're proud to announce our new, C our new COO of Storyfire, the failed, horrible YouTube clone that didn't go anywhere and never paid us out. He's joining Story... Okay, I would say Sky's pretty far down, whatever hole he's in right now. Our new... Our new... What it... Ch Chief Operating Officer? What is COO? Chief Operating Officer, I was right. That seems kind of... I, mean, I guess it makes sense. He's whatever. He's the COO of story fire <laughs> so people saying i look healthier and happy for my improvements thank you he posted a few tweets talking about everything that happened i don't think he addressed everything directly but i did make a video about some of the tweets he had made here's him hanging out with his, his girl i guess but yeah net nobody's a pretty interesting guy with an interesting story and he's back on youtube and he's posting videos um if you just look up sky does minecraft or sorry sky, sky does everything so he does everything now what is story fire dude story fire is this like failed youtube clone that was run by mcjuggernuggets that didn't go anywhere coffeezilla made a pretty interesting video about story fire which you can all check out if you want the boy who cries yeah oh this is years old too ladies and gentlemen this is the boy who cried story fire now let me say right up front this is gonna be a tough line for me to walk because it's a story i think should be told but it's also a balance okay because there's some juicy lies things in here that normally you can watch that if you want but basically the guy was making up a bunch of fake stories and plot lines to keep his his business afloat and try to make it look like it was good from the outside when it wasn't now this guy is posting on youtube and he posted a video called where have you been five days ago is he supposed to look like a drug addict also i noticed he has a star of david and a cross you probably have so many oh. this video is just so i feel like it's a joke he's not he's not really high or something right he looks devoid. Of, he does look rather devoid of color. This dude's a recovering addict. He is a recovering addict. That's real. I have to like make an account to sign in, which I don't want to do. Is this an NFT thing? The drops? When he says drops, am I wrong to think this is some kind of NFT project? I'm sure many of you have several questions that a small video like this will not be able to go over everything. I'll be releasing updates as I go along via the link provided answering questions, showcasing some interesting things you probably didn't expect. This this will be video one in a series of videos to drop soon with some drops coming earlier via this. I have lots of guessing. Okay, maybe it's not an NFT thing. If he's saying he's going to drop videos, feels like a schizo post. I mean, it's supposed to be a schizo post, but 
It's not that I didn't want to finish my album. It's that I just genuinely believe that I, I was going to save the world. Is this meant, this is meant to seem crazy, right? I think it's just him high. Yeah, that could be it. How do I explain to you without explaining everything that everything is bad? Other than saying this. I feel like this is intended to be like a viral video that everyone talks about. I feel like he's gone. I don't think he's in psychosis. I think he knows what he's doing. I think he's trying to make a viral video that everyone will talk about and like bring attention on his channel so he can, people can join his telegram or whatever. What are the comments section like on this video? The legend up. There's one comment from Verlis. Is there a glitch? How's there one comment from Verlissify? Getting access to games early, uh, especially when it's. I feel like game. I know of this guy. The furry Pokemon guy. I got a new job documentary. What's happening? Done forever. Well, if it isn't you guys again. So, I understand that that last video might have been a little jarring. Might have. No comments? Is this a this is a glitch, right? No, not because if he he's deleting all of them, but why wouldn't he just turn them off? Why would he delete them? He's the concerns of the masses, and I understand that, and that's why I made that video. He's always had that weird artsy approach to his creation, but it's too much of a tryhard that it comes off very edgy. I feel like he hasn't always, because he used to have a consistent kind of thing to his videos, where he would just post every day, and it was like every single day, verified users only. Oh. So you have to have a check mark. <laughs> oh, maybe that's it. So, I'm here with a hat. What is he hoping this will accomplish? This, like, weird Tim and Eric unsettling A24 thing. What, what, what is this? I'm the CEO of Storyfire now. Um, that's my new job. I do that. My, my job is the CEO of Storyfire. I commented. Let's see if it's still there. It's there. To me. No. Um, but maybe it's not seen by the rest of the ch channel. I don't really know. That's my new job. I do that. My my job is the COO of Story. What is this girl? Is this his girlfriend? What's she doing here? Yeah, it's okay to be. Storyfire. Who I'm goes there? No one. Literally no I'm one. Hats off my head. So listen. There is some people posting. One video for 15 days ago has 177 views, so I guess they're, they're blowing the f*** up. I'm surprised this website's even still up. If you follow the Telegram, then you would know this now, that I'm the COO of Storyfire. So, um, I do want to go ahead and say that uh, I have been doing well um, mentally. I've been just kind of focusing on that, actually. Um, I wound up getting this job with Storyfire. You would probably actually know all of this information. I get this is supposed to be like funny or something, but it's just annoying. Did he block you? you no, he didn't. Already, um, if you're on Storyfire, because I dropped this on Storyfire 15 minutes early. Like birds. I know you guys have so many questions, uh, but, you know, I can't actually give There's you an answers. Updates Discord. Literally all my entire life. I didn't get to say that. Maybe I'll join the Updates Discord. I just wanted to be funny, and not a lot of people found it as funny as I did. Figure. Oh, I do have plans for this channel. Oh, it's the Storyfire official server. I'll join the Storyfire official server. Announcements. There's like 10 people using this server. There's nobody here. I can, I mean, I can just show you guys what, what's going on in this server right now. I mean, you can see there's nothing, there's no one using this thing, right? We can clearly see. We go to general. Cancel advertisement without semen between the tits. <laughs> I guess this is the kind of, the kind of conversation that's going on in this server. What is this picture? I want to meet him so bad, I'm just scared to say hi. He was saving the world. Treat him as you would any friend. He's only human. Go with the flow. Because the first time I met him in person, it was scary, but he walked up, hugged, said hello. Told me how short I was, and it was one of the best dates. Is that Bam Margera? This guy kind of does look like Bam. We're doing CSGO stuff. That man, what rabbit hole is Sky falling down? Who convinced him to invest whatever money he has left into this company, dude? Nobody's going to use story fire. I think this is an attempt at a ARG. Maybe. It seems to me like he's trying to get some kind of attention right now off these videos, which is not hard to guess, but it, like a specific kind of attention, you know? And it does involve you guys. So, like, I can't say much about it yet, but, um... And I have a documentary coming about the last three years. I know you guys really want to know about that. There's a documentary coming. All right, listen. 
So, um, I told you guys that I have plans for this channel, and I can't really keep it to myself. So, there's a link that you'll see right here. This is a Discord. I'm sure you can this put two and two together. This is Storyfire there. Discord. And we're going for the One Piece. I know that I haven't spoken my side on a lot of things. If you can't tell, it's because, he add that in post, because the I'm working on Jurassic Park. This could be you. What mental illnesses does this guy have? Can somebody tell me? Because this is just kind of sad to watch how far this dude's fallen. I'm not saying he's like in psychosis right now, but this guy had such a crazy career opportunity. It was so fire. By her side, I've been staying in a positive mindset. Um, those who missed it on X, I was uh, primarily gone to focus on my mental. Um, <clears throat> you can see me in positive mindsets. Uh, uh, for those who missed it on X, you know, I, I gave a brief. Brief F. Why? Why is he doing this right now? This is not. For those who be. And I get like I my sense of humor is horrible. Like I think too mad's funny. I'm an idiot, but this is just not. What What is he doing? Those who missed it on X. AM says popular Storyfire creators include. Yeah, none of those people use Storyfire, bro. Uh, I haven't seen some ordinary gamers, Bo Blacks, Leafy, or Boogie log into Storyfire in how long? Yeah, I, I gave a brief, brief, super brief update. And, like, right now, me personally. I'm this isn't even entertaining. It's just painful to watch. In the present. That being said, you know, I got a documentary. I saved the world. You don't know it, but I did. The mycelium network. I was fighting the, uh, the Super Mega under the ground. Is that a Super Mega reference? I was fighting the Super Mega? Said, you know, I got a documentary. I saved the world. You don't know it, but I did. The mycelium that I was fighting the, uh, the Super Mega under the ground. The Hades Mega River. And, you know, it turns out I was just crazy. So schizophrenia. Uh, let's get serious here for a second. Um, you know, it's a, it's a scary thing. And, uh, luckily, I had a lot of people help pull me back. I was, um, definitely lost a bit there. And I think we covered All right. got interrupted. Got interrupted by a family who wanted to check out. I don't understand if he's Christian or Jewish. I feel like. You can't really be both, no? Because he had he had a cross and he also had the star. He had a bad trip in services of schizophrenia. Guard. This isn't our guard. We just found this guard. I'm... To be honest, I don't know a lot about psychedelics. I don't really know what that does to you long term. Is... I have known of a few people peripheral to me throughout my life who have gone down the schizophrenia uh, rabbit hole. Um... Not necessarily schizophrenia, sorry. The delusion rabbit hole as a result of um, doing too many psychedelics and it ruining your mind. One interesting example is Connor Murphy, who is a fitness YouTuber, you guys probably remember, and he did a lot of psychedelics and it basically broke his brain long term. Um, so maybe that's what this guy's going through. But, um, you know, a little piece of advice. Don't do uh, in excess of drugs. Don't do drugs in excess, particularly psychedelics, which alter your mind. And like your perception of everything, potentially there forever. Light. There are people who do who do psychedelics who just get stuck. Even like I think um, Post Malone talked about one time he like smoked weed, and then there was something in it on accident, like somebody put in there, and it he hasn't been the same since. Like he feels like disembodied, almost like a fire story. Thank you to all my friends, old and new, for pulling me back. Thank you to everyone who prayed for me to get better. Heal. Thank you to those who said kind words and having patience rather than hopping on a side in a matter they weren't involved in. Sorry I can't say more yet. Patience is appreciated. Thank you for your understanding. Until then, I'll be letting the pros do their things while I continue to focus on my new job and mental recovery. I don't even know what that was, man. Sky is too far, too far down this hole. The last time I talked about him, I just talked about the statements he made on my channel, I believe. The more recent stuff he said, where is Guys Minecraft? Guy made a video. Um Tom um, Dark. I think. Yeah, there's that one. Skezmerkov responds. Here we go. 
I talked about some uh some tweets he had made regarding this stuff. He made a long thread. It's best everyone moves on with their own lives, as has been stated. I was always just an emotional guy trying to help others, make others laugh, and along the way, lost focus. Just as you only know your life and one perspective in that life, I only know mine. I'm not a horrible monster I've been made out to be. It hurts, and it's a lot of what is taking time to process. He's trying to move the attention away from something, but from what? Because I feel like there's no way he can move attention away from what already went down publicly on the internet. Everyone knows that stuff, so... I've laughed, cried, put emotions and resources and more to a lot of the very people describing me as a horrible person over mistakes resolved already and already in the process of healing. It's just been all very confusing and I'm not asking for sympathy, just understanding while I continue to work through it all. Life doesn't end until it's over and each part of it will be a memory you sort through to try and better yourself. While it's taken me a while to understand that others' perspectives are their own, I still know who I am regardless of what those are in this age of literal internet insanity. At this point, I suppose it may as well be a twit longer, but it's just a break of silence and nothing else really. I'm not really interested in being Sky anymore or a YouTube. YouTuber, rather just a human being focusing on improvement creating things behind the scenes once in a while telling you what i'm working on and maybe some i wonder what his situation is in terms of um just finances in general like life setup well-being over the long term because i mean he made a lot of money back in the day but i don't know how much he blew on um stupid stuff you guys would be surprised how quickly youtubers tend to let everything dry up music once in a while as it's therapy to me and my wife so uploading okay well in fairness being okay for those in fairness, he is uploading, but he's not uploading like YouTuber videos, you know. If you are interested, I'm married to my wife Wendy, making They're like schizo ARG weird offbeat skits that are supposed to be funny. Nobody album funny. shooting music videos with her, her own past internet drama, and things that lower my connections to God and higher frequency as we get closer to awakening as a species, end times, a solar flash, etc. Whatever you want to call it. I don't focus too much on the internet anymore due to spiritual beliefs, but I do know you're all out there who have supported me and just wanted me to get better. I just wanted to say to those of you who have wanted me to just get back to a space I was at before, I appreciate you. I saw the redemption stories you all wanted from me and so much. I'm off drugs, I'm eating healthy, I'm really alchemically focused on my mind and body. Thank you to those of you who just wanted to better me. I saw it. I just personally hit a point of pressure. Never wanted to be some unmemeable, perfect, non-human idea of everybody's old hero. Lol, the Miles Morales memes. What the f Those were like confusing and left me in a weird spot of never knowing how to come out and say, guys, I'm just a guy who makes funny videos, played friends, which caused emotions to be included as a booming voice and viper tongue. Okay, so you get the idea. I don't really know what's going on with Scott as Minecraft. I, I hope whatever's wrong with him, he figures out, but at this point, it's been a few years and he claims to be better, but he's just making some weird life choices, I would say, most recently, so... Hopefully he figures it all out, guys. Listen, shout out Scott is Minecraft. Shout out. Hope you're not on whatever substance you're on, but it seems like you are on it. The substance, whatever that may be. So, yeah. That's my thoughts and opinions. And if you liked this video, consider becoming a member. For $5 a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts, unreleased videos, and the members-only Minecraft server. Thanks so much to all of my YouTube members who fund my content.